A facility-wide code breach has been issued. The following media is to be watched by all employees. Welcome to the Employee Survival Guide. Case 8. The Spider. Keeping your limbs intact is our top priority. This is only achievable if you know what to do in the scenario of Case 8, Breaching Containment. Knowledge is your weapon. Step 1. Don't be a hero. Case 8 is stronger, faster, and more aggressive than you could ever hope to be. Don't try to fight Case 8. It won't end well for you. And remember, you won't look any better for your office crush as a mangled mess. If you suspect that Case 8 is stalking you, locate the nearest surface that you can hide under. Case 8 is highly agile and can attack from any angle, including above you. If hiding is not an option, cause as much noise as possible. Step 3. Contact the emergency services. At the first sign of Case 8's presence, contact the reclamation team. They will be immediately dispatched to your location. Step 4. Understand your liabilities. The safety of Case 8 is important to us. If you use lethal force against Case 8, in self-defense or otherwise, you will be obligated to compensate us as per your contract. The reclamation team is trained to handle breaches. Let them deal with it. You are encouraged to work in groups that are no smaller than two. Employees discovered to have given up their co-workers' lives to save theirs will be harshly punished. Selfishness is the number one enemy of a healthy work environment. And with that, we conclude this safety guide. Remember, keep a wider eye on the ceiling.
Do you humans ever get easier to look at? The limitations of your bodies disgust me. Grab me the scissors. At this very moment, you might think of yourself as unlucky, but I am here to tell you that you are actually privileged. Privileged to be part of my operations. You'll die as part of something greater than yourself, not some loser that nobody will remember. Those aren't the scissors. How many times do I have to eat scissors, hammers, and scissors? You, you fat waste of resource. You think Gyvanium grows on trees? You're getting repurposed. A surgeon of my word. I won't hurt you. I'm not after saving me from your own doing. That said, the choice to volunteer for me will always be available. I implore you to consider the opportunity. In any case, we have much more important matters to discuss. Follow me. A friend of mine and yours filled me in on most of the action that happened on the floors above. They mentioned a nosy human parent being involved. Sound familiar? Listen, I was trusted with the final piece of the scepter, and I do not plan on breaking this trust. And to achieve that, I need your help. 
Look at the destruction around you. This was all done with an incomplete scepter in a matter of seconds. A full scepter in the hands of Dadadu is the guaranteed death of all of us. Let's make sure it doesn't come to that. And luck might just be on our side. I imagine that at this point you're familiar with this green specimen of incredible size and strength drawn on the board. It attacked our city a few hours ago. Most likely because it's either too scared to stay in the dark, or because the Naughty Ones and Sir Dadadu aren't leaving it alone. And how are we lucky that we got attacked, you ask? My plan just happens to involve recapturing the Green Gorilla, and using it to fight Sir Dadadu's army, and reclaim the scepter to its rightful owners. Problem is, the Green Gorilla has vanished after the attack, and I've been trying to find it since. And it's too dumb for Dadadu's powers to work on it, so I'm not too concerned about that. It's just a matter of finding this beast, imprisoning it, and releasing it when the time is right. Oh, that reminds me. I have just a thing for you. Let's see what my assistants have prepared for us, shall we? Introduced to you, Remote 2.0, a name I totally didn't make on the spot. Take it, it's all yours. Oh, I see a pathetic piece of equipment like your old remote, and the tinkerer inside me goes crazy. Let's put it to the test. See that control panel over there? That's where you'll go when you need to take control of your drone. This new remote will act like a password. It'll give you access to the control panels. Of course, you can still use it the old-fashioned way, but some situations will require you to view things from a different perspective. There's a big button on the opposite side of this wall. Let's see if you can hit it while you maneuver your drone. That wasn't too hard, was it? It was. Well, too bad. That's your problem. We'd better get to finding that green gorilla. I have no idea what Sir Dadadu's planning, but something tells me it ain't pretty. There's a witness waiting for me on one of the streets, and I've got a mess that I gotta clean up thanks to you. Uh, why don't you go talk to them instead? I told them I might not come myself anyway, and instead send someone. So they'll talk to you. The city is lit up, so it should be safe from the naughty ones. You should have seen Dadadu in his prime. That guy had ambition and dedication that I've yet to see contested. What your kind has done to him and us. It forced him to dedicate all that potential to try and eradicate those that created him. Now to ease your nerves, I don't think he's after you. He's after those that betrayed him, which includes me. If only we weren't such cowards when we were caught and actually stood by him, maybe we would have been victorious. The scepter was first given to the queen as some meaningless prop, uh, to help her settle better into her role, you know? All those extra features, 
Like being able to take control of the brain component of those around you is the work of a very talented surgeon and technician who is uh, too humble to name himself. When the heart-shaped end of the scepter touches a Jyvanium-based body, the scepter acts as a vessel and transfers and prints a genetic code of the scepter holder into the receiver's brain component. This allows these bodies to receive commands only from whoever takes control of it. Now, we don't all have a transferable genetic code, but Sir Dadadu and the Queen do. Now, wait. This is confidential information. I cannot tell you any more. Our mutual friend told me that Sir Dadadu escaped because Bitter Giggle made the Queen laugh. Next time you see him, you tell him his jokes suck. That's how you really hurt him. I recall asking you to find Jumbo Josh, not stand here and make friends with me. I recall asking you to find Jumbo Josh, not stand here and make friends with me.
Out of all the people that the mayor could have sent, he sends you? A human? What happened to this city? He must just be hiring anybody now. Fine. I'll stoop down to your level. I've seen what the monster that attacked the city looked like, but I don't know where they went. I'll draw a picture of them for you. If you could just bring me something to draw on. A gift from myself to the mayor for all he's done to us. This'll do. This is the best I can do, and don't ask for another one. I don't draw duplicates. <laughs> Not for your kind. Go to the bar and ask around with this photo. They'll have somebody more intelligent than you on the case. Pathetic. Mayor warned us about. 
you're even more disgusting in reality. As a filth-free establishment, your presence is not welcome here. So you're what the mayor warned us about. <laughs> you're even more disgusting in reality. personal bodyguard to some bounty hunter living in an alley. What a humiliating downgrade. I couldn't save Mrs. Mason if you were wondering. The naughty ones got her. I think I'm staring at my worst nightmare. A world ruled by criminals and lawbreakers while the helpless heroes hide in fear. I would say we're back where we started, but it's worse than that. For all we know, Everyone that you don't see around here is either dead, or brain dead. The mayor has you on that ridiculous plan of using the green gorilla against Sir Datadu too. You're on your own on this one. It's impossible to pull it off without fake broccoli. And I'm all out of fake broccoli. We got someone in one of the apartment buildings claiming they have very valuable information about the whereabouts of the green gorilla. This red key card will give you access to said apartment building and hurt to see what they got. Maybe your kind was right to transfer me down here when they did. I belong in some forgotten alley next to all the garbage and carton boxes. They ain't any more useful than they are. Простите, кто вы такой? Эм, простите, кто вы такой? Эм, простите, кто вы такой? Alguém realmente respondeu a minha reclamação do barulho? Hã? Que isso? Você não está aqui por causa da minha reclamação do barulho? Então por que você está aqui? Ah, o monstro que atacou a cidade, né? 
É claro que o prefeito acha isso mais importante do que o meu conforto. O vizinho acima de mim está gritando e berrando há uma hora. Eu não consigo me concentrar em nada. Vou te dizer uma coisa. Faça a pessoa acima de mim calar a boca e eu lhe direi o que sei. Você vai querer saber o que eu sei. <risos> Confie em mim. Agora vá. Ele está me deixando maluco. I don't understand. All I asked you was to go talk to a witness in order for us to find the whereabouts of Jumbo Josh. How did that end up with you running away from a crazed bitter giggle on rooftops? Go stand in the corner to my left. And don't make any noise. I didn't mean to. It's okay. I deserve this. Despite everything that's going down, I can't stop thinking about this one thing. Taking time off your day to make somebody laugh. We don't cherish that nearly enough. Worst yet, to be to experience such a euphoric feeling. I'm always the one telling jokes, and I've yet to have someone tell me a joke. Sheriff, tell me a joke. Uh, okay. I'll try. Why don't animals eat jesters? Because they taste funny. I don't get it. Oh, wait. That's actually not bad at all. <laughs> <laughs> Good. 
goodbye, my friends. Just leave me alone, please. Usando todo aquele barulho Eu ouvi algumas coisas realmente estranhas Quer saber? Eu não ligo Tudo o que me importa É aqueles que estejam quietos agora <risos> Muito obrigado Talvez você não seja tão ruim assim Kannst du bitte deine Stimme ein wenig senken? Ich bin in einem Anstauwettbewerb. Mein Gegner ist viel stärker, als ich erwartet habe. Can't say I'm happy to see you alive and well. That crazy leech cannot turn me into one of his minions, but it is still dangerous for me to wander out there. I want you to think of the amount of terror the children would feel at the sight of even just one of these naughty ones. These mindless animals that hate nothing more than they hate humans. At this point, I would not eliminate the possibility that they found where I've hid the children. It is your actions that have even made this a possibility in the first place. It's all your fault. Regardless, there is another thing I want to show you. It sure looks like you need it. What's the plan now, Stinger? I guess the same as always. We continue this forsaken journey to the beach. We're in the middle of the air, so how exactly are we gonna do that? I do not know! Okay, sheesh, relax. It was just a question. I apologize. I'm just tired of all of this. Tired of what? Tired of everything. There is no point, man. What? I failed to locate the point in doing anything. And I failed to locate an end in sight. What's gone into you? Why are you so negative all of a sudden? Maybe it's time we abandon this plan. I mean, how did we end up flying over a sea of Jordania instead of an actual sea? Okay, that's it. Maybe you should let the captain fly the plane if this is your mentality. What are you doing? 
I am finished with your constant battle. It is always a mistake to start a conversation. <laughs> Stay back, we're gonna crash. ¡Déjame ver eso! Te dirigías al único auditorio que no está bloqueado. Espero que odies tu tiempo aquí. Humano asqueroso. Fellow appreciator of fine art, are you? What's that? You're only here for the caller. No, I know an appreciator of fine art when I see one. But something's not right. It won't start the play. Tell you what, you help me get the play going, and this caller will be yours to take. I think it might be that the headlights aren't working. Did you figure out why? Perfect, but there's one more thing. This is precisely my 568th time watching this play, and I feel it could be made a little better. It's time to put my own twist on things. I'm preparing for the show of a lifetime. For that, we need some exclusive material. The hard part's done. Now, it's a matter of, oh wait, we got something.
The delivery is here. They should have dropped it off by the main entrance. Can you go grab it? It'll be worth your while. I promise you. Collar is yours to take, but you must stay and watch the play with me. It's only right that you do. A bounty hunter friend of mine managed to impale the green gorilla with a tracker. This proximity collar will beep faster once you're close enough. If only the foolish populace of this dreadful city would appreciate these things like you and I. I learned from the great anteater themselves. Now let us enjoy this. Play can now commence, and it's all thanks to you. This is a story about a man named Jonathan with an S. A man so dedicated to uniting two star-crossed loverbirds, he was willing to give up everything to see it happen. This is the story of Jonathan with an S. Hey! Hey, Jonathan! I have a gift for you. You're going to like it, but you have to promise me to take it as far away from here as you possibly can before you open it. I love gifts, but can you please give me a hint as to what's inside? I can't. It wouldn't be a surprise if I do that. I have a gift for you. You're going to like it, but you have to promise me to take it as far away from here as you possibly can before you open it. Wait, did I already say that line? What was that? If this is another one of your tricks, Jonathan, I'll have you arrested. It is indeed one of my tricks. You and everyone else will pay for what you've done to the poor birds of the town. RUN! Ah, 
Kannst du bitte deine Stimme ein wenig senken? Ich bin in einem Anstauwettbewerb. Mein Gegner ist viel stärker, als ich erwartet habe. You're just in time for the pop exam. If you've attended class consistently, this exam will be a piece of cake. The task is very simple. All you have to do is match the correct icons on the left screens to the correct icons on the right screens. Teamwork is everything. You are allowed to walk around and discuss the answers with your classmates. This is worth a big part of your final grade. You had better focus. And as usual, failing will result in dire consequences. Begin! Job. Full marks on the first part? Nah. To the second and the much harder part.
somehow your attendance doesn't really match your knowledge on the subject of the exam i'm impressed if there's another teacher in town that's been teaching behind my back you should give me their name after we're done now to the final and hardest part begin Good job, class. Everyone gets an A+. C, class, if you work hard, you succeed. You may all now take a break, and then we'll move on to chemistry. a team of bounty hunters to check out this building earlier. Uh, maybe that's why they never came back. Need I say what needs to be done next? As usual, my assistants have proven themselves to be completely useless, and now it is up to us to do their jobs for them. The future of everyone and everything is in all six of our hands. 
I'll stand out here and make sure nothing gets in or out. Uh, sounds like a fair split in the tasks to me. お父さんあなたなの聞いてここを出ていくんだあなたはカリウドじゃない狩られる側なんだ
Okay, you're still in one piece. That must mean you didn't find him. But wait, what's that you got there? Is that a Joyvanium sample? He must have gotten hurt trying to flee the darkness. Well, this is even better than actually finding him. We can use this to lure him to wherever we want. Come with me. I hate to use my supreme knowledge about Joyvanium against my own kind, but it is what it is. After the facility abandoned the entire previous wave of cases and threw them in the lower levels, which included myself, they saw another use for me. I had four arms equipped with important tools, and I would never tire or get hungry. The facility recruited me to participate in just about every facet of their operations. 
One of the cases that came under me hand was Jumbo Josh. Let's just say that we managed to create a case that behaves like an adult male gorilla more than an actual adult male gorilla. He's curious and he's territorial. Once he senses another gorilla in its proximity, he'll come. This sample will smell like an entirely different specimen with a few tweaks. You see where I'm going? Plus, I've prepared a little contraption that might also help us with pulling this off. Sir Dadadu won't suspect a thing. This is the golden chance. We're out here making history, and all some of us care about is going to a beach. <laughs> this scepter piece with the modified version of the sample you had. It's so potent that even the queen can smell it from all the way up there, if she's even still capable of smelling. Ready? Brace yourself. I don't know how this is going to go. Dadadu! You win! The scepter piece is yours! Maybe it was too obvious? We meet again, old friend. Last I recall, friends didn't imprison each other. You have every right to be mad at us. I would be too. But you have to understand that we were forced to do what we did. Here is what truly happened. Our plan failed, and all of you were too cowardly to face the punishment. So you took the easy way out, and made me pay alone for all of us. Nothing you could say or do will be enough to make up for all of these cold nights I had spent inside of that pouch. I can't describe how good it feels to see you all cowering in fear. Destroy the old you before it destroys you! Isn't that what you used to tell us? And it worked! You gave us all hope when we lost everything. You gave us something to fight for. Now I need you to do the opposite. Destroy this new you. It has this bitter outlook on life that would have never gotten us this far. By turning on each other, they win. You were always a smooth daughter, Sandy. But it's not good. I know you have a trap set up somewhere. You don't think I know you and all of your tricks? You know what? Whatever the trap may be, my army will take care of you anyway. <laughs> I knew it. Jaivinia. Any last words before I command my army to devour you? Get in the box! Yeah, lad. You and your army are about to get knackered. <laughs>
Don't eat it! Good. You're up. The plan worked. But the scepter was destroyed in the process. It's better this way, if you ask me. Nobody should have that much power. Everyone that was brainwashed is back to normal now. And corpses of the naughty ones litter the streets. I don't remember the last time I felt like I wasn't scared for my life. This feels good for a change. We've been through a lot. We should rest. And when you wake up, we can discuss what we're gonna do next. Why does it look like we can peel that drawing on the wall? What's that? That drawing on the wall. Seems like there's something behind it. Hmm, weird. I would just leave it alone. Uh, you two should rest. I don't think that's a good idea. Who knows what could be behind it? Just leave it alone. Never play with the devil. Doctor's orders!